New allegations tonight against New Orleans Mayor Latoya Cantrell. The Metropolitan Crime Commission alleges that she has been living in a city-owned apartment in the French Quarter. WGNO's Anna McAllister is at the Upper Pontalba apartment building in Jackson Square. Anna. Susie Kerr the MCC is asking the city council to investigate the claims, saying that the mayor went against city policy. However, the mayor's office insists that she hasn't done anything wrong. The New Orleans Metropolitan Crime Commission coming forward with what they say is evidence Mayor Latoya Cantrell has been living in the Upper Pontalba, a unit meant for hosting dignitaries and to conduct city business. The MCC claims the mayor has been seen coming and going from the building, that citizens have reported mail addressed to the mayor outside of the apartment, and a privacy screen has been placed on the balcony. She's using that facility as an additional residence, which is an additional benefit, which I believe is not permitted by, by city rules. And if it is, that's an additional benefit that she's receiving. And as such, she should be taxed on it. The MCC says the apartment, if rented, costs three grand a month. The city owned building is managed by the French Market Corporation. But city council member and French Market Corporation board member Eugene Green says there's no indication of any wrongdoing on the mayor's part. I can tell you that right now, according to the French Market Corporation, there are no violations. I don't say that there's something that I won't wouldn't find elsewhere, but we are the agency that governs the rentals of those f facilities and we don't have anything. We reached out to WGNO legal analyst Cliff Cardone to weigh in on the matter. IRS regulations will, would indicate that she doesn't necessarily have to pay the value of the apartment, but she might have to pay the full value of the rent as taxable income unless she meets certain exceptions. One of those exceptions is if she's living in the apartment for the convenience of the city of New Orleans. That's going to be something that perhaps the courts might have to weigh in on. Of communications, Gregory Joseph says the mayor's usage of the city owned apartment remains consistent with the usage of past mayors. The current franchise agreement contains no rules governing how that unit should be used or operated. And Joseph also says since there are no regulations addressing the payment of rent, Mayor Cantrell, along with past mayors, are under no obligation to pay to use this apartment. Mm -hmm. Kurt, Susie. We'll see how this one shakes out. Thanks, Anna.